Nigeria a grade you know you could rate us and say how well are we doing as a democracy how well is our government doing a being excellent C average F failure what would you rate Nigeria uh, let me give it a D. <laughs> yeah, a D I mean I mean things 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 are like really crazy in the country right now but I just feel it's a process that we're going through so it's like four years for the new government. Let's see how things pan out. If it doesn't work out, that's why there's an election. So, but what the present government is doing, it takes a lot of um, confidence to be able to do it. You know, like saying that, okay, let's go through this hard time now. You know, for a better tomorrow. Let's chase after you know those who have stolen our money in the past. Let's put policies in place. Everybody's complaining. I am complaining as well. You know, but hopefully things are going to get better. You know, so based on that, you know, I'll give them, I'll grade them way above average because it takes a lot of courage to do what they're doing right now. You have to give them a letter grade. Well, I'll give a, a, I'll a give plus. C actually. I will give Nigeria a C. And a C because the fact that we are questioning our government is a sign of growth. Well, this new government is new, so I don't think it's really I I give them some more time to see how far really. I'll be I'll be truthful. I'll just say F. F. Ah. Yeah, we just be why F? F? Because the, the thing is, um, we we all like I said before, we all see what's going on right now. Um, but we just we just pray we just pray that we don't get this um, hyper inflation stuff because it's actually it's, you can see everything is coming up and everything things are difficult out there. People are complaining, so it's it's pretty tough. Let's just say we'll have a D because we're still you know there's so many things that we're still grappling with, and it's gonna take time. I understand totally. I know that you have impatience, but we tell them that Rome wasn't built in a day. Receipt. Receipt. What does that mean? Take the exam again. <laughs> I'm that magnanimous. I haven't been impressed with your scores, so I'm allowing you to sort of like a remedial. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, let's let's do it again. Of course, you know I say 100 over 100. You give them 100 over, so they got an A plus. Uh, uh, you know, you go to go to solve the rest by yourself. <laughs> See, you are giving them an A plus. History 101 on the carpet with Valento. I'll answer two oh, questions oh and you guys will let me know. <coughs> this is really easy. All right. When was military, when was democracy restored in Nigeria? When was democracy restored in Nigeria? 1960. Well, 1960 was the independence. <laughs> democracy. What? Ah. Uh, that should be, uh, um, I'm not quite sure. 19, no idea. 19 what? No idea. 19 what? No idea. 19, no idea. I forgot. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. Okay, this, then that means you're going to get this one. What, what year was democracy restored in Nigeria? 1999. You see what you're saying like pure water? <laughs> you're the first person that got this. <laughs> She's a genius! Uh, 1999. You see, you got that. It was so yeah, simple. yeah. That was when Obasanjo came in, I guess. Yeah. 1999. 1999. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I was going to